Hey everyone, welcome back to Buick Outdoors. My name is Sheldon Marion, and we just got back from a little afternoon drive here and uh, we managed to get ourselves a couple of chickens. So now it's time to make a catch, clean, and cook on rough grouse. Hope you enjoy. Keep missing that one. Got that one though. There's one more right in here somewhere. There's a bunch of them. Oh, there he is. Only got one bullet left. There's a whole pile of them in here. I'm going to have to reload the clip here and then go in there after them. Right over there. I can see his head from here, but... Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> There's one right here, now I gotta find him. At least he didn't fly away, he just flew up into a tree about a couple feet up maybe. You can make a camouflage that looks like chicken feathers. Boy, you'd be a millionaire. He flew away too. These are rough grouse, they don't fly away. They don't fly too, too far. Might be able to find them over here. Probably in this little stand of poplars and willows there. Well, those ones took off on us, but maybe what we'll do is we'll jump across the road where that other one flew to. We'll see if we can find him. <laughs> he was in these little cranberry trees and stuff, so I was trying to shoot through all the branches and leaves and stuff here, but uh, Swing and a miss on that one. Might be able to find him here yet. Well, the old 17 there strikes again. Got a couple more chickens, anyways. It's always fun heading out. Just drive around with your woman, dogs in the truck. Cheap little 17 HMR. Get some dinner out of the ordeal. How I like to clean my chickens. So I grab them by the feet like this. And right here, if you run your fingers up, you can feel where their breast comes.
comes up to a point. So what I do is I just grab the hide there, just give her a pull. That exposes the breast meat. Then I pull the little stomach out of the way. I take my finger, put it into here. Take my other finger, wrap around this neck. And give her a pull. Then that way, this meat never touches the ground. Now pretty well, I'll just doctor it up. Pull some of these feathers off. Clean it up so it's nice and pretty. And then it's ready to go into your fridge and chill. And as always, come in here. Grab the little chicken heart. And the dogs love these. Hey, Rocky boy. Rock. This is our new dog, Rocky. You want this, buddy? There you go. Good boy. Get that in you, hey? Pretty good stuff. Let's go cook, hey, buddy? Alrighty. See you in the kitchen. Alright, guys. So here's one of our chickens that we just pulled out of the fridge. It's been chilling for a few hours now since this afternoon. Uh, what we're going to be doing first is pulling this chicken breast off the bone. So you can see right here, this is a Y bone. Comes down here and it splits like a Y. So what I do is I take my knife and I run it down both sides here. And then I follow that Y bone down. And you just slowly peel it away. There we go. There's one. And then also on the inside here, this is your chicken tender that you can remove or you can just leave it on. Doesn't really matter. Then this one, I'll try to do it with it facing the camera so you can see a little bit better. Another breast done. Left with a fairly clean breast bone there. So here we got the four breasts all removed. And then I got the, uh, I just quickly pulled the chicken tenders off of them too. And now what we're going to be doing is butterflying these. So when you're butterflying, you kind of want to go about halfway down and just make nice long, even cuts. And that way you can kind of fold it like that. The only reason why we're doing this is so in that way it'll kind of be a little bit more even. And it'll take up the whole uh, bun. There we go, something like that. Doesn't have to be exact perfect. Alright, so now for our next step. Here in the plate we have eh, maybe half a cup of flour, maybe three quarters. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to season our chicken and then we'll bread them. So all I'm going to be using is this garlic plus stuff. And don't be cheap about it. Put a good liberal amount on there. Make sure you do both sides. And then if you want to add salt and pepper, I would add that to either your flour or your chicken. It don't really matter. Uh, maybe this time I'll throw it all into the flour here. Of 
quite a bit of pepper. Salt. Get that kind of mixed up a little bit. Now, before we uh, bread our chicken, we'll get some uh, oil on the pan here. We'll get that heated up. Now for the amount of oil that you put in there, you want it so it's pretty well, not quite deep frying it, but enough where it will uh, at least cover about half your chicken there. So we just gotta wait for that to warm up, then we'll bread our chicken and uh, start cooking. Alright, so to test to see how hot your uh, oil is, once it's ready, just take a small little pinch of flour and put it in there when you see it bubble like that then it should be hot enough for your food to go in there. So we'll uh, get to breading this. Now if you want you can dredge your chicken in egg and then put into the flour. I usually don't. One less thing you gotta do. There we go, we got all four done. Kind of shake off any extra flour. Now we're ready to throw it into the pan here. When you're doing this, you want to put it in and lay it away from you that way. If it splashes at all, it'll go that way instead of towards you. And when it's in here, it's only a couple minutes per side, then you'll be uh, pretty well done and ready to go here. And then for heat, we're on the tip we usual kind of low to medium heat don't want to get carried away you don't want to burn it if you have something cooking and burnt oil it just tastes awful but now we'll let that cook for a couple minutes and then we'll flip it over alrighty they've been in this oil here now for about two minutes so now we're going to check it and uh, see how they're looking if they're brown on the bottom there we'll give it a flip That's looking pretty good. I'm just like that, a couple more minutes and I'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna grab a plate, put some paper towel on it, get our buns ready. And we'll be eating here soon. Alright you guys, well, they've been on here for another two minutes or so. Ooh, time to check. That's looking awesome. And I think we're going to call that boat good enough, so she's going to pull them off, put them on the paper towel, put the extra oil drain off onto the paper towel get soaked up and uh, yeah we'll start making these burgers up alrighty let's get this plated up here so we just have a regular old hamburger bun bit of mayo and a few chunks of Romaine lettuce here. Grab one of our chicken breasts. Slice of tomato. 
Then we're getting real fancy here today. We have smoked Gouda cheese. Put that on there. Squish her down. And there you have it. That's a rough, gross chicken sandwich. Alrighty guys, let's try out this burger here that we made. <laughs> oh, it looks pretty good. We're just gonna cut it there. This is pretty good. That garlic plus, taste a little bit of garlic. Smoked Gouda just knocks it way off the chart. You guys definitely gotta try this, either with rough gross or just go out to the grocery store, buy some chicken breast, and give this a try. Hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.